Ever feel like your SEO strategy is a beautifully crafted piece of art that nobody sees? Or maybe you're curious how your competitors are consistently beating you on Google search. What if I told you that there's a secret metric that shows you exactly how much more you need to climb to the top? Guessing what works in SEO is so fun, if you enjoy wasting time. These tools that we're about to share with you will give you a clear view of what you need to dominate your market. These insights are exactly what you need to take your SEO strategy to the next level. We're about to break them down for you. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about Local Falcon. This tool is an absolute game changer when it comes to tracking your local rankings. Local Falcon uses a metric called solve, also known as share of local voice, which gives you a clear metric to measure how you stack up in the local pack across all your markets in relationship to your competitors. Exactly. Solve isn't just telling you how good you are. It's about showing you how much room there is on the table and how much you can improve your rankings compared to how your competitors rank. Let's say you're a pool company, for example, like this one that we looked at. Your solve score says you're practically invisible. So it's uh, time to stop pretending like you nailed it. Right. It's not just about knowing where you rank. It's also about knowing how far ahead your competitors are. It's kind of like realizing that you're in a race, and the other guys are already on the finish line sipping on margaritas. Exactly. And this is just the first step. You now know where you stand, but what do you do to improve your ranking? Well, that brings us to our next tool, which will help you uncover exactly what it is that your audience is searching for. Now that you know where you stand, let's talk about how to actually boost your local SEO. This is where Steve talks People also ask Scraper comes in handy. It's basically a bookmark that you can add to your browser that will scrape Google and give you a list of questions related to your main topic. It is an absolute goldmine for content ideas. Exactly, Joy. You can put in your main keyword, let's say pool cleaning, and it will show you all the related things that people are searching for. Things like, what is the best way to clean a pool? How much does pool cleaning cost? You know, the actual stuff that actual people care about. When you create content like this, you're actually giving people what they want instead of just, you know, crossing your fingers and hoping that it works. Okay, so content is covered, but here's the thing. Simply creating the content isn't enough. You also need to know how your actual audience is engaging with that content. That's where this next tool comes in. It's gonna help you see exactly where your clicks are going on Google. Now that you have all those great content ideas, it's time to make sure that your website actually gets clicked on when it shows up on Google. This is where the organic click-through rate tool from Advanced Web Ranking comes in. This tool shows you the click-through rates for different search result layouts, depending on whether there's a local pack or organic listings. Here's the kicker. When a local pack is present on Google, your click-through rate for the organic results drops dramatically. For example, if all you see is those simple 10 blue links, the top position there will get around 47% of the clicks. But if you put a local pack above them, the click-through rate drops to 14%. That is a huge difference. And knowing about it will help you adjust your strategy to get you more clicks. Exactly. This is crucial for understanding how your search results are being displayed. And more importantly, how it affects user behavior. It helps you optimize your SEO, not just for rankings, but also for clicks. So knowing this, you'll want to tweak your strategy so that you're not invisible. Unless, of course, you want to be buried on page three. And in that case, uh, carry on. All right. Now that you know about optimizing for clicks, it's time to dive into how you can see your local rankings from different areas. That's where one of my all-time favorite tools comes in, the GS Location Changer. This is a really simple free browser extension that basically lets you spoof your location so that you can search as if you were in a different city or different zip code. The reason this is one of my absolute favorite tools of all time is because it allows you to see how the search results look 
from precise different locations. So for example, if you're a pool cleaning company, you can check to see how your rankings look in a very specific neighborhood where you want to target more customers. Or you could even see how you're doing in one of your competitors' own backyards. For example here, I've got up a search for car accident lawyer and you can see what ranks from the zip code 33606, which is a neighborhood in Florida. Um, now, if I want to change my location to, let's say, Miami or like a specific area in Miami, I can either select Miami or if you know a specific zip code, you can also enter in a zip code. Um, so like here is Beverly Hills, California, 90210. As a Canadian, one of the only zip codes I know off the top of my head. Um, so if I click to that, do another search, you will now see I am in Los Angeles and Google is showing me search results from Los Angeles. And the best part is that it's free. That's right, free. You don't have to go sell your kidney to be able to afford this tool. It's lightweight and it works perfectly both on Chrome and Firefox. If you're serious about local SEO, there is one tool that is a must have if you are serious about link building analysis. And that tool is Ahrefs. Ahrefs. Just kidding, everyone. That tool, that tool is called Ahrefs. Ahrefs is not cheap, but spending money on the right tool is important if you really want to shine and beat all those competitors. One feature we absolutely rely on is the organic pages metric. This is like a magnifying glass that shows us if a website is actually performing or just pretending to. For example, let's say you are considering advertising on a site like Thumbtack. You might want to know how their site is actually performing on Google, right? Wrong. Just, just kidding. We, did, we definitely do. What I meant to say was, exactly. If you look at their data in Ahrefs, you'll see that Thumbtack has 37% fewer pages ranking than they did two years earlier. That is a red flag. It tells you they are losing organic traffic, which is not a good trend if you're looking for a site to partner with. That's where Ahrefs will just give you that clarity. See, Colin, it's really not that hard to say. Nice. You can tell how much organic traffic a site is gaining or losing by focusing on this metric. It'll give you a lot of insight into how their SEO is doing. All right, let's switch it up a bit. If you're trying to figure out who needs more citations, Ahrefs also helps you understand how well a site is performing on Google search. For example, Cake Map Quest, believe it or not, it's still performing well. <laughs> Who uses MapQuest? <laughs> you still use MapQuest? Are you printing out your directions before you head off to the cottage so you can read them on the way? Let us know in the comments below. Now we are compare that to a site like Hot Frog. All you local SEOs in the room, you guys love Hot Frog, right? Ahrefs shows that it is not really holding up. Shocker. The data that you'll see here will just help you make better decisions. And I apologize if you're on Hot Frog's SEO team, we are not looking to offend you. But it could be time to change your name to Lukewarm Frog. <laughs> so whether you're deciding where to allocate your advertising dollars or you're just figuring out how to get more backlinks, Ahrefs gives you the tools to make an informed decision. So there you have it. These five tools will help you track your rankings, find the right content to create, understand your click-through rates, even see how your rankings change based on location. Start using these tools, track your progress, and let us know in the comments how they've helped your SEO. Or just continue to wonder why you're ranking on page five. That, that's fine too. Thanks for hanging out with us today and keeping up with our ridiculously corny jokes. Stay with us. We have a lot of local SEO tips coming up on our YouTube channel. Corny is subjective. If you found this video corny and you enjoyed it, leave us a comment below. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, you know, all the things.